Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. In a previous video, I showed you how I made a very basic planner notebook for Jawide. It was an A5 wire bound notebook that had a week on two pages layout, several sheets of ruled note paper, three plastic envelopes, and an elastic closure. Jawide has used that notebook for the entire month of May and we now have a better idea of what categories he needs in his planner so that it will be easier for him to process and act on every single thing that he writes down on it. So I made him a new planner which starts on June 1. This is still an A5 sized notebook but it is now a week on four pages. The first two pages for each week has an overview of the month and the current week is highlighted on there as you can see. Underneath it is a box where he can list down his notes and reminders for the week and then the boxes for the days now occupy the entire height of the planner because the days now have categories for the information that he needs to write down. The first is the orders that he has to fulfill daily for his restaurant business and the next one below it is a list of ingredients that he has to buy for the day. He does not go to market every day but when he does he has to have a list ready beforehand and he also has to plan out what days to buy certain ingredients depending on the number of orders for the day. And then he also has a box for other reminders and tasks for the day like if he has to call or talk to someone or do something for his band or take care of some other administrative things for his business or something like that. And then he has a place to list down the things that he spent on for the day. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday are on the first two pages and Thursday through Sunday are on the following two pages making a week on four pages. For the covers, I actually bought a plastic folder that was thicker and more rigid than the covers I used for the previous planner and this one is a semi-transparent gray. It actually has diagonal lines running through it. It makes a very subtle texture and I really really like it. I assembled this planner in exactly the same way that I assembled the first one. I cut the semi-transparent folders to make three envelopes with flaps and then I hole punched the pages, the envelopes, and the covers using this hole puncher from the Carl Tozical double loop wire binding system which I also talked about in previous videos. I used the 100 GSM paper for this planner which is slightly thicker than the 90 GSM that I used for the previous planner but I made sure that everything would fit inside a 13 millimeter double loop wire. The Carl Tozical system does have a way of measuring what wire size can handle the book that you want to bind because let me show you this is the locking device of the system and on this side we can insert the notebook that we want to bind. The notebook that I want to bind can still fit inside this notch that's created for the 13 millimeter rings and that's how we know that the 13 millimeter rings can actually go into that notebook, into that thick of a notebook. And then I counted the number of holes that I punched and then counted the number of loops in the wire and then cut off the excess. And then I placed the wire inside the holder and then I placed the back cover in front of the front cover and then I placed everything into the wires in that order and then I took everything out and then after I made sure that the locking device was set to the 13 millimeter mark I locked the wires and then I simply turned over the back cover from the front to the back where it's supposed to be. I recently found this set of neon orange stickers in National Bookstore. I thought it would come in handy for him in case he wants to flag a day for any reason. The size is just perfect for the date headers of the planner and the color is very vibrant especially when placed on a black background. He will just transfer into this planner the other supplies that were in his old planner that you saw in the previous video. And then I attached an elastic closure using the same method that I used in the previous notebook planner. I found this vintage looking elastic from my old stash. I have no idea where this came from but I used a black eyelet for this one. It was still a struggle for me to do like before as you can see but I was able to make it through. 
And that is how I made Jawide's new notebook planner. I hope this video was helpful to you. I did not include too many details here because the method and process that I used here was exactly the same as how I did the previous planner. So I didn't want, I didn't really see the need to make this video too long, but I hope you enjoyed watching anyway. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will get back to you at once. Thanks for watching. Bye.